Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Nelly. And we're so glad you're with us today. We are learning about something really amazing today. Oh yeah? What is it? The armor of God. Whoa! That does sound amazing. What is that? The armor of God is what God gives us to protect us from our enemy. Wow! What does it look like? Well, we can't actually see the armor of God, oh. but we can still put it on in some amazing ways. That's oh. what we are going to learn about today. Wow, I can't wait! Well then let's start by singing a song to God. I like that idea! Hey friends, sing along with us! Let's all stand up and sing a song to God. Yeah! Let's sing the armor of God and sing about the armor that God gives us to help us defeat our enemy. We're gonna start by singing the belt of truth. Let's sing it out. that again. These are the tools that God gave to me. Great singing and dancing. Uh -huh. You can all sit down now. That was so fun. I love singing to God. I was wondering if we could learn some more about the armor of God. We sure can. You know what? I actually have something really cool to show you guys. Ooh, what is it? Well, Winston has been working on this cartoon called Ooh. the Super Scuppets, and I want to show it to you. Wow, the Super Scuppets. Oh boy, I love the Super Scuppets. Me too. So let's go ahead and meet up with Winston and see what happens in the Super Scuppets today. Yeah! On a cold and dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm, oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppeton way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets! The Super Scuppets had stopped the Dark Scuppets' plans many a time, but the Dark Scuppet wouldn't give up yet. If he couldn't take down the Super Scuppets, he would try to destroy Scuppeton! <laughs> That's right, Scuppets. Say goodbye to your precious Scuppeton. Stop right there, Dark Scuppet! Just try and catch me, Crimson Wonder. <laughs> so 
so long, Super Scuppets, and so long, Scuppetan. Han, it's bad out there. Are you almost done? I am done. What are you doing with that thing? I like bouncy balls. It's ready. Who wants to go face the dark Scuppet? I think it has to be you, Han. We all tried, and our powers don't work against the bouncy balls. Me? Yay, brother! All by myself? I can come. No, you just made it worse. You can do it, Han. Don't be afraid. Okay, I guess this time you will wait here, and I will face the dark Scuppet. We'll be watching from here. You've got this, Professor Orange. Professor Orange, haven't seen you in a while. Been hiding in your lab, have you? I have not been hiding. I've been working to defeat you. But not facing me. You must be scared of me. I am not afraid. You should be. I am not afraid of you, Dark Scuppet, because I know that we will always defeat you. Good will always win. You keep saying that, but look at Scuppetan. It will never be the same. Maybe not, but it will always be good. You can't do that. No! No, no, no! You may have stopped me this time, Professor Orange, but I'll get you next time. You did it, Professor Orange. Thank you for saving us. Of course. Now it's time to clean up this mess. And with that, Professor Orange saves Scuppetan from being overrun by Bouncy Ball. Professor Orange showed the Dark Scuppet that good will always win and that there's no reason to be afraid, especially when you have a super cool helmet. Ha-ha! <laughs> I think if I had a superpower, I would want to talk to animals. Oh, that's very cool. What would you want to do? I would want to be able to fly like Winston. Ooh, that would be fun too. I want to be strong like the super scuppets. You know you can be. How? I don't have a superpower. You don't need a superpower to be strong and courageous. God can make you strong. Really? Yeah, you know our Bible verse today is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and it Ooh. says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Wow, I want to be all those things. You can with God's help. Now let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13 so we can remember those things. Yeah, let's all stand up. And sing our Bible verse. Let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. We're gonna start out singing some woes, okay? So I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Let's go. That was great. You can all sit down now. Yeah, I liked doing the wah! 
<laughs> me too, and I like that verse a lot. Yeah, it reminds me that I can be strong and courageous. Now we have learned a little bit about the armor of God, but I think we should meet up with Pastor Steve and Winston to learn some more. Oh yeah, I like that idea. Pastor Steve is going to ask Winston some questions about the really cool Super Scuffus cartoon we saw today, and we are going to learn about the armor of God. So let's all put on our listening ears. Got him. And our thinking caps. Got it. And meet up with Pastor Steve and Winston to talk about the armor of God. Yay! Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Winston, or you may know me better as the Crimson Wonder. That's your superhero name, huh? Yep, it's to protect my secret identity. Every superhero needs to have a superhero name and a super cool outfit. So every super scuppet has a superhero name? Yep, Hector is Hector Swift. Sora is the Electric Canary. Bestos is Commander Jellybean. And Han is Professor Orange. Oh yeah, and it was Professor Orange who saved the day today. Yes, he did, because the Dark Scuppet was trying to destroy Scuppetin with bouncy balls! And that Dark Scuppet is a really bad Scuppet. Yeah, but Professor Orange won because he had his helmet! Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. What did the helmet do exactly? Well, you see, it protected him when he went into battle. That way he could fight without having to be afraid to get hit by any bouncy balls! And that's so cool because it reminds me of the helmet in God's armor. Wait, the armor God has a helmet? Absolutely, and this super important piece is called the Helmet of Salvation. Oh wow, that sounds like something a superhero would need. Oh, we all need it. The Helmet of Salvation protects our minds from fear when we believe in Jesus. But it's like the other pieces, right? We can't see it? Right. So how do I put it on? Well, you put it on for the very first time by saying to God that you're sorry for the sins and the things that we've thought or done that God doesn't like. And then we believe that Jesus took the punishment for our sins and God forgives us. Hmm, then what? Well, then we live our lives knowing that Jesus has saved us and we belong to him. When we do that, we're wearing the helmet of salvation and our minds are protected from fear. That is the coolest helmet ever. I'm gonna wear it right now. Oh, and you can. Remember, God gives us the helmet of salvation to protect our minds from fear when we believe in Jesus. Guys, we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Wow, God gives us some amazing armor. He sure does. And remember that God gives you and me his armor so we can be protected from our enemy. Yeah. God loves us so much and he will always be with us. That's good to know because sometimes I get scared. Me too, but God will never leave us. He will always protect us. God's the best. He really is. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.